Hello everybody and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a simple mixed operations problem here that uh, features uh, some mixed addition with multiplication. And the problem we've got here is 7 plus 7 times 7 uh, plus 7 equals what? Uh, so if you'd like to try to work this problem out on your own, uh, we can come back and work it out together. Uh, you may already know the answer, but uh, you know if you want to try to work it out and you're not sure, go ahead, pause the video, and we'll come back and do this together. All right, so if you remember your uh, order of operations, uh, you know that multiplication has precedence uh, over addition. Uh, so the first operation that we have to solve is the 7 times 7. And 7 times 7 is 49. Uh, 7 plus 49 is 56. 56 and 7 would equal 63. Uh, so the correct answer to this problem is 63. Uh, just keep in mind, again, multiplication has priority. It has precedence over addition. So even though the multiplication shows up here, uh, you do order of operations going left to right, but you need to remember multiplication division uh, have precedence over addition and subtraction. And the reason for that is really because, you know, multiplication is just a shorthand method of writing uh, repeated addition. Um, so I could have rewritten this problem. I could have not used multiplication. Could have replaced the 7 times 7 by adding 7 7 times, um, which is what I'm showing here within parentheses. Again, these parentheses are not necessary. I just added them for clarification just to show that I'm replacing everything inside of these parentheses. Um, well, this is this is replacing the multiplication. So it's 7 plus, and then adding 7 7s, and then plus the other 7 here. Uh, that's going to equal 63. So again, you may have uh, you may have learned order of operations by PEMDAS or BODMAS, BEDMAS or BIDMAS, one of those acronyms. Um, the acronyms are not not so important. Uh, the main thing to keep in mind is, uh, say for instance, with BODMAS you have brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, uh, brackets. Um, or in PEMDAS, at brackets and parentheses, they're just grouping symbols. Uh, and then in BODMAS, you have the O, which is orders. Um, I kind of like that description better because it actually includes, um, it's a more general description that describes exponents, uh, square roots, factorials. All those things are nothing more than shorthand for repeated multiplication. Uh, PEMDAS, the E is exponents. Um, but even though it just says exponents, it really does cover factorials and square roots as well, which again are just shorthand for repeated multiplication. So your orders, your exponents, uh, those things have priority over just standard multiplication. Uh, and then multiplication and division, they have equal precedence. Your division is nothing more than multiplying by a reciprocal. Uh, and then addition and subtraction have equal precedence. Subtraction is the same thing as adding a negative number. So if you just keep in mind those relationships and don't worry so much about acronyms like BODMAS and PEMDAS, um, you should be able to keep that order of operations straight. Um, and again, be careful on calculators too. Some calculators um, are not able just to straight up solve uh, multiple operations. Um, that includes things like the Windows PC calculator, if you're using it in standard mode. <clears throat> That's because it uses what's called immediate execution mode. Uh, if you flip it over to scientific mode, you'll get the right answer of, of 63. Um, so, uh, And then cheap calculators, cheap dollar store calculators, often don't have an internal stack chain. Uh, they don't basically don't have the memory um, function, the memory ability to just to go ahead and 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 solve multiple operations correctly um, without using um, memory store recall functions. Um, you would, uh, or you just do the multiplication first uh, when you're using one of those cheap calculators, and you'll get the right answer. But you do have to be careful with those calculators because if you're just 
entering 7 plus 7 times 7 plus 7 uh, into one of those calculators, um, those cheaper calculators, you will get the wrong answer. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, again, the answer here is 63. Um, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has been helpful, uh, please consider giving a like. Uh, feel free to share uh, links to the video. And uh, and if you'd like to, also subscribe. That, that does help out uh, quite a bit with the channel. So again, I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.